Hello! How are y'all doing? It's been a while since I've uploaded. And, uh, you know, I've been playing games without y'all, basically. But, uh, I'm, I've been playing Need for Speed Heat, and I came across a problem that I was having. And I couldn't find out the specifics on anybody's YouTube page. Sorry. So, uh, I figure I would make a video on it. And uh, I'm making this video explaining how to, it. whenever they say swap engines, what they're really doing is, what you're really doing is basically unequipping your parts in your engine, chassis, drivetrain, and auxiliary. You're unequipping those from one car that you want to take the engine out of and you're equipping them to another one of your cars. And yeah, I got the deluxe edition. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't know it came with all these cars, but uh, luckily, I felt like I was cheating, you know? But luckily, none of them have really good engines. So yeah, you get these cars for free, basically. But uh, this one, you have to see how it says reach level 18 to drive this car. Uh, but uh, even whenever you get that car, you still have to buy the parts for the engine. So it makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, I spent $9.99 for the extra, or an extra $9.99 for the Deluxe Edition because I wanted a little bit of boost on my rank in, in cash. And I think it only boosted me up like one rank. And it gave me like maybe like 15,000 cash. It was, it was a very small um, number. But anyways... Just so I, you know, I'll be, I'm blunt with y'all and I, I'll let y'all know. But, uh, yeah, these cars I got with the Deluxe Edition. None of them have any crazy upgrades because I've just started playing the game. So this is my only car that I've been upgrading. And so, let's say I wanted to use one of these cars. And I'll take this one for example. What I would do... To uh, make this car faster, you could you could either buy parts for that car, or if you want a little boost, you can unequip all these parts. And I'm gonna show y'all how. I've already done this. So look look whenever whenever you push select on your engine, do not push swap engine. That's where I was messing up. You do not push triangle to swap engine. What you do is you click on each one of these. Um, I guess parts individually you have to go through and unequip them so whenever I push X on one part up at the top it says part shop which you can whenever you click on this part you can either upgrade that part you know for more money or if you look up at the top the part shop if you push R1 it goes to your inventory these are the parts you already own or have bought before you know you bought the upgraded part so I was stock I had bought this pro crankshaft and this one that I have equipped right now is the latest crankshaft I have bought so in order to put it in my other car you're gonna just unequip it so how you do that all you do is switch to your stock and see in the bottom left corner equip item you equip that one and so now if you go to your inventory look I have both of these pro crankshafts in my inventory okay and just so you can see it on another one I'm gonna do it to the the ECU as well I'm gonna click on the ECU and I'm gonna pick to equip the stock ECU and so whenever you go back to it it shows you that now I have the stock equipped and now these two pros are just sitting there pro and pro plus they're just sitting in my inventory so whenever I go back to my showcase, you pick which car you want to put those in. All right, so I'm going to pick the Mitsubishi. I'm going to pick select and customize. And you do the same th do the same thing. Go to performance. I'm going to go to the engine. You see how it has all stock except for those sports. I think I had left those Oh no. It came with that. It came with that. I, I apologize. So I click on the engine. And see, look, there's my two, my two engine parts, or yeah, crankshafts. 
one pro one pro plus those are the one and this is the one I unequipped out of the BMW so I can equip that one right so pro plus now that one's in my Mitsubishi there's the pro there's the pro plus that I took out of the BMW all right now let's go back to the BMW and we're gonna look select and customize car and whenever I go to uh, see it's still stock whenever I go to the inventory look now the Pro Plus isn't there because it's in my Mitsubishi. It's not in my inventory anymore because it's in the Mitsubishi. Now look, let's say I equip this Crankshaft Pro. Now if I go to one of these cars, since, all right, remember, I, I select it and customize. And uh, remember I put the, uh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize this came with all Pro. All right, so inventory, oh no. All right, so this, I guess, is a step up. And uh, the parts from the BMW can't get put into this, I guess, because it's a hypercar. I remember watching a video on that. All right, so, oh, I know what I can do. All right, so let's go to this Mitsubishi. All right, so we're going to go to this Mitsubishi. All right, now remember, oh, uh, look, perfect. So I had put that Pro crankshaft back into the BMW, and the Pro Plus is in the green Mitsubishi. And now look, there's no crankshaft in my inventory now remember I did not put the ECU back into the BMW there should be see look at that in my inventory there's that pro now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take those parts out of my green Mitsubishi and hopefully by then y'all will understand what I'm doing for me I don't know maybe I'm a slow learner but for me it was very hard to figure out because the videos weren't explaining exactly how you got to uh, equip it. They would say equipping parts. And I basically had to go through and figure it all out myself. So these are the parts I took out of my BMW, the Pro Plus parts. I'm going to, whenever you click on that, it's going to first take you to Parts Shop. Because, it, it, you know, it's taking you to where you want to buy an upgrade. But up at the top, you can see L1R1 switch R1 to your inventory I'm gonna, and I'm gonna pick stock because I want the good parts in my BMW I'm gonna put this uh, back to stock alright now we're gonna go to my BMW because I really want to juice this car up I feel like it's not cheating so much if I don't use the Mitsubishi's alright so let's now let's go to performance now remember I had put that pro crankshaft in you click on it, you switch R1 to inventory, and now look, there's that Pro Plus that I just took out of the Mitsubishi. Stock, I'm going to put that Pro Plus back in, and boom, I'm back up to 248, baby. All right, so just a recap. Go to My Ride, Performance, and whenever any part that you want to take out of that car, you select it, go to inventory, and then just downgrade pick it pick stock and uh then that part will be available for you to install into another car all right guys i really hope i explained that I, I explained it to the best of my abilities nobody else was explaining that and uh hopefully this video helps y'all out y'all have a good day peace out